Hi guys. So I'm here today making tiny tags. I just felt like making tiny stuff. That's kind of a thing that I like to do. <laughs> it's tiny things. So um, I kind of got inspired by one of Pam the Paper Outpost, one of her videos. She was making tiny tags and um, I even pulled out some similar junk mail to hers. She had election junk mail and that's what I've got. Here's our mayor making a kissy face. <laughs> and then on the back I just glued it to some file folder, some manila folder. So it's nice and sturdy. Um, I used my PVA glue in my little cute glue bot bottle. And so now I'm just going to um, cut a couple few strips. So I think I'll make, um, let's see, let's make one an inch wide. Oh, I got to deal with that. I guess I'll just clip that off. So I hope everybody's doing good. I'm kind of having a blah, <laughs> blah day. Um, so when I was inspired by Pam, I thought, oh, I better, better get working on it before I lose my inspiration. <laughs> But I do love making tiny things, so this will be fun. It's mostly straight. Okay, so let's make a few out of this. I'll just toss that little piece. Um, let's see. That's about two inches. No, one, one and three quarters. And is there enough glue on it? No. <laughs> I know I missed some spots, so I'll just kind of re glue. We just recently saw it and thought it was fantastic. I was just listening to a podcast about it and uh, yeah, I thought it was really fantastic, especially compared with the 1984 horror. <laughs> I hated that one. It was so awful. Especially the Baron Harkonnen character. Ugh. I think just traumatized me. It was, he was just so disgusting. And um, this one he wasn't, he was just more menacing, you know, which I thought was much more interesting than just being gross. And I hear that they are already, um, let's do an inch and a quarter, that they've already been approved for making the next one, which I'm glad since this one said part one, and I think it only covers um, part of the first book, not even the whole book. Well, I say not even, it's a huge book. I was actually thinking about maybe rereading it with my son, um, who is 14, and he was kind of interested in that. We still read books, um, but it's not so much one sided now, it's like Sometimes I read to him and sometimes he reads to me, so that's fun. Uh, lately we've been reading the Final Girl Support Group. I love, love it. I thought it would be good because he watches all these, uh, these videos on the kill count for different movies, so 
he's very familiar with the tropes of the horror movies. Okay, I think that is enough to play with for now, and I'll just leave this under a book so it'll stay flat. And I'm just going to wrap, similar to what Pam did, I'm just going to wrap text book page around these. Um, probably just use a glue stick for that. And I'm using my Odyssey pages, Odyssey of Homer. Um, and then I've even got another classic, which I'm not familiar with this one, but Castiglione, The Book of the Cordier. Let's see, the way she did it, she started with the white on one side and then wrapped it around like that. I think we'll do that. That's, that sounds like a good plan. Oh, and I probably shouldn't have cut these. I probably should have left them. Well, maybe I can still do a, a good job. That'll probably work. Okay. So let's not confuse the glue pages with the other glue pages. <laughs> if that makes sense. So I hope everybody is doing well. Did I already say that? <laughs> yeah, because I'm doing meh. Just the last few days, I felt really blah and tired and sleeping a lot. My son has a cold, um, so I wondered if maybe I was catching that. Doesn't seem like it though. Okay, so I'm gonna glue those three down. Oh, this one has his lips. <laughs> I think it's a funny pose that they used for the flyer. I think, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that'll make people want to vote for him. I don't know. I did vote for him. He's a good mayor. If you saw the movie Dune, let me know what you thought. I'm curious to hear what, what people think and if you have read the book and, you know, if you remember it at all, if you think they did a good job. I thought they really nailed the, the sort of ennui and, you know, atmospheric creeping dread. <laughs> But also just really good with the relationships. I loved that they showed um, the Duke um, and his relationship with Paul, with his son. They spent some time on that because really the first movie, if I remember right, he's dead in like the first 10 minutes. ruler to tear. Where do we want tear? Maybe right there. Kind of nice because it seals in both layers. So 
So if they weren't glued together well before, they are now. They're not getting out. underline some of these words. Monstrous. Under heaven. Strangers with honors. Zeus of the Aegis. Just so cool. Love it. Oh my gosh. Killing puppies. No, let's cross that out. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that's about. All right, so let's go ahead and cut these before I forget that they are not one. That worked pretty good. I think I'll do that again. Um, do we have enough to wrap? More. We might for these. Mm. It's pushing it. If we do that, and that, it's like just barely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go take this for something else and use another page. So these are the skinnier ones. Just have these two left. We'll just set those aside. use um, different toppers, like little pieces of fabric, maybe some lace. Um, yeah, got a few different ideas. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. And I'll probably stamp I have some smaller stamps I can use on these, rubber stamps. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe I can um, stamp and then color them, possibly. All right, let's see if I can get this pulled off evenly. Good. 
looks pretty good. We need a little glue under the edge, but let's cut it apart first. I like this method of covering the tags. It's like wrapping them like little presents. So I have been getting back more into reading lately. I usually, I say usually, before the pandemic, in the before time, I used to read quite a lot, like several hours a day, uh, more than a hundred books a year. And it wasn't like I was, you know, trying to race or anything, I just loved reading. and. I still do, I just haven't found anything that's really grabbing my attention right now. I keep falling asleep while I'm reading. Never used to do that. So if you have a really great book <laughs> that you're reading right now, please share. <laughs> please tell me. I always like hearing people's recommendations and why they love it. Okay, I think those are glued really well, yeah. So... Let's just kind of line them up here. And I think I will use a stapler to attach toppers. Okay, so I grabbed a bunch of toppers. Um, I love this stuff and I don't get to play with it enough, so I wanted to use that. I think I'll just fold it, kind of fold it in half. Maybe that's a little too long. will cooperate. Grab some different scissors as well. Okay. And we'll call that the front. It worked. 
purple. That's cute. Okay. Got that one. How about this one? We got some other thread from this blue fabric stuck on here. Okay. <laughs> Go away. cute. Let's just do it diagonally. Cool. This is so easy to use, these scissors. And then I can probably cover the staple on the other side with something. Actually, what if I do this? Put, put it on both sides. This is a little... Just use some glue instead of scissors. Was I? Oh, I was playing with that. Oh well, same difference. I wanted to use it the same way, so now I just need to wait for about a year for this glue to come down. <laughs> Staple that. Not sure if it'll catch at all. Kind of. 
sort of worked. <laughs> tags because you don't have to do a lot and they look really cute right isn't that cute okay. I could sew these too that would be another option but I don't really feel like doing that right now. Don't want to get my sewing machine out. Not this time. But that is an option. It would probably be pretty quick too. You know, if you already had your sewing machine out. You could just zip these through pretty quick. Okay, now we just need some stamps. Okay, I got a few more things out. Um, some papers, some little tiny papers. So what I want to do is some tiny collages on a couple of them. And then I got this one out. And I just found this. Her name is Samantha. I've had this for <laughs> months and I didn't see that. But it's SM Samantha, which I'm guessing is small, small Samantha so cute so I'm gonna stamp her I think on this one because she fits <laughs> and I am going to emboss these to give them a little texture I thought that would be fun so that means I need to use um, pigment ink so do I have any pigment ink out right now? I don't think I do. Alright. Um, let's make her black. Since we've got black on the tag, that'll go fine. powder here. Okay. So she is ready. We'll put her up there. Do him green. Do him green out. Yes.
very light. Okay. Hope there's enough on there. side a few of them and yeah I think that's it just that let's do blue which I have not opened yet Do I want to stamp anymore? I've got a green, a blue, and a black. What was I going to do? Red. I think I was going to try this big flower if it fit. really nice. I think I want to do the other one too. <laughs> this one. stamp off. Okay. So now I just got this one left to collage. It's going to be a very tiny collage. But, you know, I thought it would still be fun. Use some of these like, tickets. Peace. 
I have not. I have some straw paper that I got from Rachel and I haven't used any of it yet. So let's just rip into the first piece. to rip off one flower. And use this one. Yeah, like that. Oh my goodness, there's two pieces. I didn't realize I had two pieces. This is my math stamp. It's like formulas and stuff. This I'm not going to emboss. I just want a little background. Put it on this side. No, I think I still want it on the other side. Okay. 
Oh, do I want anything on the other side? Could do. This little tiny piece says post on it, so I wanted to save it. First I want to get these heated up. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so these are all embossed. And I inked around this one. So let me... Zoom in on these so you guys can see them better. Okay, so here's the sunflowers, and they feel kind of bumpy from the embossing. That's kind of nice. And then we've got this one with the three little blue flowers. I might add something to these still but basically they're done this is fun with the bunny I love that bunny and Samantha small Samantha <laughs> and then here is the tiny collage on both sides so that's going to be it for today's video um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. It was fun to get something done so fast. And I have six little tags all in about an hour. <laughs>
So I'll just see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.